Right, hello everyone. Um, I'd just like to do uh, one last video on, on clay sculpting and just show you how to completely make one of my um, my monsters in, in, in one go, basically. Um, you can actually see the previous two videos where I'm either sculpting the um, the legs um, and, and making the armature, um, and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail in this video. Um, so this is one of the, the creatures we've got. Um, this is the one, well, the last one I made, which is the dog, and you can see she turned out quite well. Um, but basically what I want to do is show you how to go from wire and clay that to one of those. And what you're going to need is some appropriate headgear to cover your mouth. A uh, glove to cut, keep your hands clean, um, well, one at least, um, and something to uh, clean if you need any, if you, if you make any mistakes. So, um, always keep a, an old sock or something is quite useful, and uh, don't worry, you think you don't want to get dirty. <laughs> so, let's see what we can do. Right, to start off with, um, use steel garden wire, which is what I'm using, which is the cheapest stuff. Um, the easiest way to make it stronger is to put it into a drill so and basically rotate it round to um, make a coil which makes it a lot stronger so you can start making a structural uh, skeleton for your sculpture. Now um, it takes a little bit of adjusting and you have to have a little bit of imagination um, but if you do get this bit right it makes the whole thing so much easier and supports all the clay. Um, what I found is having a good base and Gluing it is um, probably best done first, so um, obviously having an electric drill does help and um, then what we do is basically put loads and loads of glue all over the feet and what I'm doing here is putting a few little globules on the back, now this isn't really um, obvious um, now but it will be later when I come to uh, make the actual creature itself because um, I'm going to use it. Put a bit of texture on the tail when it comes to it, it's going to be quite thin. So uh, to first do a, draw, a sculpture you really have to sketch it out first um, a few times and this is just a recreation that I've done to uh, show you the quick way of me sculpting it rather than giving you the whole video. Now spray paint is best as it gets in all the little cracks and it's, it's kind of really a must. Um, I, I gave it a white undercoat but black is going to really show the, the sort of all, all the little indentations and, and grooves in it so um, I start off with this first and move on to a, a, a silver which basically you have to be quite careful with or you will get inside those cracks again it's just to give it a bit of a texture and sort of speckled you and also give it get, give the sort of the whole thing more highlights throughout it um, now you can move on with a brush if you want and uh, do a little bit more detail I'm, I'm definitely going through a bit of a a horror look and um, I'm trying to keep it quite simple so um, I'm, I'm now just going over the bits where the bone would be exposed um, or, or where it would be uh, brighter just to really sort of like uh, make those bits stand out. Um, uh, the whole idea about having a skeleton really is to reinforce the clay so it works a lot like a reinforced concrete so it's a lot tougher and more shock absorbent not to say it's indestructible um, but with a good solid base and preparation um, you won't put all that work into using a uh, fragile material like K and then it sort of basically break a few years later down the line. Um, even the little wire there actually has wire going into it just to support it. So uh, I hope you found this useful if you ever want to make one yourself. Um, give it a go, um, just be aware it's a bit messy and um, yeah, but have fun. So, how was that? Did you learn anything? <laughs> if not, um, have a look at my stuff on my website, which is illustrations by James Lejeune.com. That's illustrations by James Lejeune.com. And um, you can have a look at some of my stuff and where these models come from and what they're for. And um, I'll be putting up more videos in the future. Um, perhaps next time I'll show you how to make this little baby, which actually has bar pie and 
smoothly arms. But that's different because that's animatable stuff. See you later. Bye.